And back here in Blacksburg, 2.39 to go. Virginia Tech on a 9 to nothing run right now to take a four-point lead. I went through a little half-court trap, double up on a perimeter. Plum lead to the cutting Singler for the lay-in. Nice pass by Plum Lee. Good movement without the ball by Singler for the layup. 22 for Singler. He and Smith with 40 of Duke's 57. Tell you one thing, terrific job by Virginia Tech on a glass. How we to do 40 to 32 and beating him up on a glass offensively on a rebound, 15 to 6. Seth Curry back in for Duke, scoreless, four fouls. Green. Delaney. Oh, how big is that one? How sweet is that one? Malcolm Delaney been waiting. They got five guys in double figures now. Look at Seth Greenberg. He's playing defense. He's playing defense down there. Dawkins tries to answer, but Ken Singler with the offensive rebound. Under two to go. Five-point lead and the ball. Patience, patience. He said the lady had to make a big play, and oh, he responded. Oh, a Great steal, steal by Mason Plumley. What a big play for Duke. They should go inside the Plumley a little bit more. Well, there has been one other occasion when Virginia Tech played Duke when Duke was number one. It was at Cameron. It was in 2005. The Hokies led with a second and a half to go. Sean Dockery hit about a 45-footer to spoil the upset bid of the Hokies. Virginia Tech three and seven all time against number one. Duke lost as a number one team in Tallahassee, a game you and I did on the 12th of January. You were up in Madison when Wisconsin beat Ohio State a couple of weeks ago, and then Kansas didn't last long at number one, losing in Manhattan. Will the Blue Devils survive tonight and hang on to their number one ranking? Well, basic fact is very simple. There isn't a dominant team in college basketball. A lot of good quality teams, but not a dominant team that's clearly head and shoulders better than most. Place is going wacky. It's going wacky. But they better play right now some tough defense if they want this W and the importance of the game. Remember this. They've been shut out of the NCAA tournament even last year, 10 and 6. Bottom line is they gotta find a way. The last year were 9 and 7 was 10 and 6 two years ago. Atkins in for Dabala for Virginia Tech. He's covering Dawkins. Keep an eye on Dawkins. Lots of shooters out there for Duke. I want to make sure they match up on Dawkins. Curry has not scored tonight. He yeah. might have to put it up, but he lost oh, it. Oh, lost the ball. And Allen almost celebrated too early so. there yeah. because Curry could have poked it away. But it is a foul, and there are two free throws coming. What a tough night it's been for Curry. Oh, it's been a tough night. Just fouled out. Hardly played, didn't score. Dad in the house, his dad's alma mater, and just a terribly disappointing night for Seth Curry. I think he was too emotional for the game. I think he came here, really wanted to do so well. His dad was such a star here, he wanted to play here. The moment belongs to Virginia Tech. Let the celebration begin, my friends. They are gonna be dancing. They are going to be dancing. No doubt they will dance this year. They will dance, and they'll be dancing in Bloodsburg tonight.
Greenberg and Virginia Tech have knocked off number one Duke 64 to 60 in a thrilling game tonight here at the Castle Coliseum. The Hokies have that signature win, don't they? Now 19 and 8, 9 and 5 in the conference as they beat number one. Duke falls to 26 and 3, 12 and 2 in ACC play. And they did it without a huge night from Malcolm Delaney. Five and double figures. They just worked and worked and worked, Dick, and they're full value for this win. Yeah, they really did. They did a great job defensively. They did a tremendous job on the offensive class. They rebounded so well. And Seth Greenberg, the head coach, making his way over to the table now, putting on a headset. I don't know. Can you hear us, coach? He can hear. We've got to get Seth's mic turned on. He's on. How does this feel? I'm just really proud of our guys. I mean, we competed so hard. We came up with some 50-50 balls. When things got went south, I just asked him to continue to play hard, try to get the ball inside of Jeff. Jeff had a, a monster <laughs> game. Yes. And we just competed. I thought our defense was terrific. Changing back and forth, get them a little bit off balance. We got a couple of stops in the 2-3 zone, but couldn't score. But when we got in transition, obviously we were pretty good. I thought that your offensive rebounding was dominant. I know you got a little nervous there with those missed free throws, but you know what? Go get your dancing shoes, because it's locked. You're in. There is no way in the world they can deny you now, my friend. I don't know. We got it. We have two more games. We got another home game on Tuesday where we can get a chance to honor our seniors who are giving us so much. This is just the next step. I'm proud. I'm so happy for these kids. I mean, they've given us everything, and it's a great chance to join. And, and Malcolm didn't have the kind of night he would have loved, but Bell and Dabble and Allen, I mean, you talk about a team effort tonight. We've grown as a team. Yeah. We've grown, you know, we talked before the game about trust and the journey and believing in each other, and, and that's what this team is all about. We've never made excuses. All right, we've just kind of tried to compete as hard as we could each and every day and get better. And, these kids deserve this. I tell you, Green and Bell really played well. Oh, he's How about your three daughters? These are your three daughters yes, right sir. here. Right? The daughters are all here with tears <laughs> flowing. Jubilation. I tell you, Terrell Bell, Bell made a huge three in the corner. Yeah. He was so active. And he did a great job of staying down on singles shot face. I mean, he was so disciplined. He'd stay down and keep in front and contest him. I thought at the end of the game, no, it's such a great play. At the end of the game, we did a better job of keeping him in front. And, uh, Hey, this is what you live for if you play college basketball. Go celebrate with your family. Celebrate with your family. Congratulations, Coach. I know one thing, Thank Coach. You. Your daughter's took after your wife. <laughs> <laughs> what a moment. What a scene. College basketball. These are his three daughters right here. In the middle is Hella, who's a cheerleader right here at Virginia Tech. What a moment for Seth Greenberg and for the Hokie program. And Malcolm Delaney, again, did not have... The kind of night he would have loved to have had in terms of putting up the points, but how big was that three right there? That was a monster three, no doubt. The star came through at the right moment with a big, big three. I'll tell you one thing, what you're witnessing is the passion and love for college basketball. That's why March Madness will be the best three weeks of the ball in sports. There's nothing for a period of time. Looking right here, the jubilation, the excitement, the enthusiasm, the adrenaline. It is special, my friends. College troops, I've been very blessed to be able to be here for 32 years and working with a guy like you. Yes, it was a lot of fun tonight. Great job tonight and by everybody on our crew tonight. Sensational work bringing you this game. Virginia Tech unranked bubble team needing a signature win. They beat number one Duke. 64 to 60 as Seth Greenberg and the Hokie family they continue to celebrate Jeff Allen Terrell Bell Victor Davila Eric Green Malcolm Delaney they earned it here tonight and you say a lot they are in the tournament right oh, now what? how could you not put them in the tournament what? beat the number one team in the country yeah. the winning record in one of the BCS conferences come on now beating a dude like they did a number one team in America that's like beating five ranked teams okay Five rankings. I'm saying they are dancing. The BBDI, the Vital Ball Dome Index, not the RBI. The BBDI says in for Virginia Tech. <laughs> Joe Lenardi, put them in, baby. And we'll have a new number one again on Monday. Number one loses again for the third time uh, in four weeks. And there's Del Curry. He's torn, right? I mean, his son didn't have a good game, and they lost, but the alma mater won. I mean, tough night. 
for Del Curry. Tough night for Seth Curry. Malcolm Delaney and the Hokies continue to celebrate. He said it was the biggest game of his life going in. That was the biggest shot he did. Malcolm, so that would be the biggest shot the biggest of his shot. life. Right. I want to say hello to Scott. Right. Hey, what's going on, man? How you guys doing, all right? How you doing, all right? Uh, oh, look at all these. Yeah, it's going nuts here, man. Going nuts. They're going crazy here. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a night. What a College scene. Hoops. College hoops. What a scene. Game day will be coming back live very shortly from court level. I can see Hubert and Jay. They're braver than we are to be out there. At least we've got a table separating us from the scene going on out on the court. Virginia Tech now 9 and 5, 19 and 8. Duke drops to 12 and 2. Carolina, remember, they're going to play Duke. The ACC regular season championship is still up for grabs. That's a good point. That's a good point right now because if Carolina beats Florida State. That's a big game because if they win that game, they get a chance to play Duke. A lot more to come from Blacksburg. For Dick Vital and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Dan Schulman saying so long and hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did. What a scene here tonight as the Hokies take out the Blue Devils.